Warhammer 40k Orcs are a race of brutal and fun aliens known for their love of violence and at times smashing things together to make a weapon or even a vehicle. Although these technologies are often rudimentary and crude, but they still have a penchant for building massive war machines including battle wagons and tanks, which are central to their military strategy. These vehicles are as much a symbol of Orc culture as they are formidable weapons of war. Orc technology is often cobbled together from various sources and held together with crude repairs and a liberal use of DACA. Despite their seemingly haphazard construction, Orc vehicles are surprisingly effective due to the Orc's collective psychic ability known as the WA, which can make their creations work even when by all logic they shouldn't. This is possible also due to a type of Orc which have their genetics ingrained with the innate knowledge of how to build things from literally scrap. These are called mechs and they are Orc engineers, inventors and tinkerers who have a natural aptitude for building and repairing machines, weapons and all things mechanical. They play a crucial role in advancing the Orc war machine. So here in this video we will discuss 10 of their best tanks and battle wagons, which although no two are exactly identical, they still share a similar structure base and a weapons layout. So let's get to it. Number 1. The Big Track in the Orc War, big tracks emerge as formidable machines, a modification of the standard troop carrier called the truck. These colossal vehicles are tailored to traverse treacherous terrains like sinkholes, rubble strewn wastelands and ash covered landscapes without even getting stuck. Big tracks are the embodiment of bigger is better for the Orcs, sporting more firepower and a louder presence compared to their smaller counterparts. Often repurposed as gun carriers rather than troop transports, they are a favorite among the mech boys who lack the resources or expertise to construct full-fledged battle wagons. These vehicles come in a variety of designs reflecting the preferences of different orc clans, from the blood axes who mimic imperial patterns to the bat moons who go all out with custom builds. While they are criticized by some orc speed freaks for their lack of speed, both the goths and the death skulls make extensive use of the big tracks. The goths rely on them to keep heavy weaponry mobile and reach the front line quickly while the Death Skulls appreciate their capacity for hauling large amounts of loot. Big tracks are also often equipped with an array of weapons ranging from big shootouts to zap guns to scorchers and kill cannons and occasionally even heavy armaments like the super cannon or the flacker decker guns. Number 2. The Battle Wagons So these serve as massive noisy transports designed to carry entire Orc mobs including Gretchen, Snotling, Squakes and all manner of shiny plunder. Owning a battle wagon is a symbol of prestige among orcs, often associated with knobs or occasionally odd boys. Orc war bosses, leaders of the green skin hordes, frequently ride into battle within these imposing vehicles, sometimes even boasting multiple battle wagons to accommodate their retinue. While there is no strict standard for battle wagons design, mech boys tend to start with a basic chassis design, but after that, each vehicle becomes a unique creation. They are typically adorned with clan banners and feature robust armor although many are open topped for orcs to get a better view of the action and to shoot everywhere. Armed to the teeth with weapons like cannons, zap guns, lobbers and more, battle wagons may not be the fastest orc vehicles but their sturdiness and capacity for carrying a horde of orcs make them prized assets in a green skin arsenal. Number 3. The Hunter Slash Kill Rigs so kill rigs and hunter rigs are specialized vehicles within the Beast Nagas faction of the Warhammer Orcs. Kill rigs, pulled by massive trample squigs, are operated by white-eyed warboys. They are formidable engines of destruction, mowing down infantry and vehicles with ease. They also harness the war energy of the weird boys through the word tower, allowing them to unleash powerful energy lances against their foes. However, some beast naggers prefer not to have these volatile warboys as passengers and convert their vehicles into these hunter rigs. And these hunter rigs are also pulled by the trample squigs but are equipped with giant harpoons and are operated by the beast naggers themselves. These vehicles feature additional decks and grab handles to transport clanmates into battle. And they are armed with heavy loba, sticker cannon and the natural ferocity of their squig mounts, making them a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Number 4. The Grot Mega Tank So to start with Grot Tanks to begin with are peculiar small armored vehicles crafted and operated by the diminutive Gretchens or Grots. These quirky machines are the brain children of the Grot servants themselves which are scavengers who have been exposed to certain geniuses of the big mechs and the mech boys 
On the other hand, the Grot Megatanks are heavyweight war beasts employed by the Gretchen Hordes within the Orc armies. They stand as the ultimate achievement in the Gretchen tank craftsmanship, unleashing unbridled devastation and chaos wherever they roll. Pieced together from mishmash of scrap spare mech boys and boundless Grot enthusiasm, the Grot Megatang epitomizes the battlefield frenzy known as the Grot Screek, showcasing the unique madness and resourcefulness of these pine sized but inventive warriors. Number 5 The Gun Wagon The Gun Wagon is a distinctive orc vehicle frequently employed for transportation purposes. It is essentially a variant of the standard battle wagon, characterized by a robust engine and a mounted big shooter fixed on its chassis. Typically accommodating just a driver, the gun wagon also provides handholds for orcs to hitch a ride over short distances. Like many other orc machines, the gun wagon is incredibly adaptable, capable of being equipped with weaponry like zap guns, cannons or a set of flag guns, all while retaining its transport functionality. Additionally, the vehicle can be reinforced with extra armor to safeguard its occupants and even boast an additional big shooter. Interestingly, the gun wagon's notable vulnerability lies in its ammunition stores which tend to detonate spectacularly when hit by enemy fire. But oddly enough, the Orcs view this as an opportunity to take a few foes or enemies with them rather than a drawback. Number 6 The Gun Fortress So in the sprawling annals of Orc warfare, where size is often synonymous with power, there exists a monstrous creation known as the Gun Fortress. These colossal mechanical monstrosities dwarfing their more common gun wagons counterparts in both stature and lethality are the audacious embodiments of the orc ingenuity at its most extravagant. These titanic war engines are not merely souped up vehicles, they are sprawling war beasts, bursting with additional armaments and armored plating that turns them into veritable mobile fortresses. So in the world of Armageddon, gun fortresses have made their mark, leaving a lasting impression on the battlefield. These immense war machines are not content with the conventional arsenal of their brethren. They sport extra weaponry and are protected in heavier layers of protective armor, rendering them nigh invulnerable and capable of unleashing wanton destruction on an epic scale. So in Hive Infernus in Armageddon, no fewer than 30 of these leviathans, the dreaded gun fortresses, rumble onto the battlefield, causing ominous shadows over beleaguered defenders, the poor Imperial Guards. Number 7 Battle Fortress In the dynamic and chaotic nature of the orcs and their war bosses, there exists a colossal behemoth known as a battle fortress. These titanic war machines, dwarfing even the fearsome battle wagons in size and firepower, serves as the ultimate symbols of an orc war boss's power and ambition. Battle fortresses are no mere vehicles. They are both super heavy assault engines and mobile command centers rolled into one, embodying the very essence of orc brutality and innovation. These gargantuan war machines are a terrifying sight to behold, adorned with an array of heavy cannons crackling energy weapons and devastating explosive launches that bristle with menace, they are really a sight to behold. In the anarchic world of orc technology, standardization is a rarity and each battle fortress is a unique creation, lovingly customized and fashioned with the trophies of countless battles. On the battlefield, these colossi are the embodiment of sheer destructive power, capable of taking on any enemy with a ferocity that rivals even the most formidable war engines, even the god engines. Number 8. The Kill Blaster This colossal heavy assault tank is not merely an instrument of destruction, it is a menacing incarnation of relentless orc firepower, meticulously engineered to unleash rapid and devastating anti-infantry barrages upon its hapless enemies. This war machine is nothing short of an armored juggernaut, bristling with a nightmarish arsenal that sends shivers down the spines of even the hardiest of imperial defenders. At its core, the Kill Blaster boasts a formidable suit of weaponry, collectively known as the Giga Shooter, a name that strikes terror into the hearts of those who face it. Number 9. The Kill Burster In urban warfare and relentless siege campaigns waged by the Orcs, one fearsome mechanical colossus takes center stage, the Kill Burster. This hulking heavy tank, a close kin to its more infamous counterpart the Kill Blaster, bears a striking resemblance in appearance, yet its true prowess lies in its specialized armament. At the heart of the Killbuster's arsenal lies a colossal cannon, a weapon of unrivaled destructive power, specifically designed to reduce bunkers, buildings and fortified positions to rubble with chilling ease. And number 10, the Kill Crusher. Kill Crushers are deadly heavy tanks whose origins can be attributed or traced back to the infamous murder mechs of the planet Tigris. This once imperial forge will 
conquered by the Orcs in the tumultuous era of M35 has since become a prolific arms factory catering to Orc warlords across the galaxy with the iconic Kill Crusher design. These awe-inspiring feats of Orcish mechboy craftsmanship are intricate and imposing creations characterized by their towering armored frames housing complex interiors teeming with hydraulics, pistons, mechanized loaders and a notoriously temperamental engine. The centerpiece of the Kill Crusher's arsenal is the fearsome Crusher Cannon, a high-velocity behemoth cannon capable of launching various devastating shells. And as they traverse the battlefield, these massive war machines strike terror into anything that lives. So those are the 10 most powerful Orc tanks and battle wagons. Anyway, I see that many of you haven't subscribed yet. Please do, cause it would do us a huge favor if you would only smash the red button and also like the video to push us through in the YouTube algorithm. Please the Omnisaya. Or if you're an Orc, please Gork and Mork. And while you're at it, bang on the bell icon for notifications on new videos like this one. Till the next time, take care, boys.